Hey guys, what's going on? Galbium here, and today we're checking out another day of Weekly Bites, episode 6, for this day of CBCN, for the date of 6 15 2018. Alright guys, so we have a short episode today because there is not much released so I decided to add a couple more cards for some highlights for a destructive roar box. Alright guys, so let's jump right into it and hopefully you guys enjoy it even though it's a short episode. Alright, so the first thing we're going to get to look at is Kenji Matsuda. So for him, he's going to be running Dimensional Police and he is going to be running Dimensional Robo Great uh, not Great Dayusha, this one's going to be Dayusha. So, for Dimensional Police, they are going to be a Force Clan, so we are going to be seeing numbers with them. Alright, so let's begin on our little episode here. So, for this one, we have Machine Stag Beetle. For this one, I do have a link to it, so I'm going to be showing you guys through this one since it's more thorough. So, for Machine Stag Beetle, he is a Grade 3 unit with Imaginary Gift. And his effect is auto effect for Vanguard and Rearguard Circle. One place from hand, call up to two cards from your soul to Rearguard as rest. If this unit is on Vanguard Circle, so the end turn this unit gets the original power of all units called by this effect. So this is going to be hit, uh, hitting hefty numbers for you guys. So when you guys are playing, if you guys are playing Million Colony, this guy is a very good card uh, for some powerage. So. He goes really well with the next card I'm about to announce. Alright, so the second card we have here is Machine Spark Hercules. So I have Machine Spark Hercules here. So he is going to be your vanguard for this one. He is grade 3 with the imaginary gift. So for Machine Spark Hercules, his effect is act vanguard circle once per turn. So you can activate this, so even if you can't place another unit, you can still activate its effect, which is really good. You get to counter blast 2, choose 5 cards on your regard circle, stand them. So you guys are going to get some really good um, bonuses, especially from Machine Stag Beetle. So you're going to get that stand, and then they get plus 5k until the end of the turn. Choose all your opponent's units, rest them and they get minus 5k until the end of your opponent's next turn. So these are going to be hitting numbers and your opponents are going to be losing numbers. So what's really important about this is the area for rest them, it's, since it's in uh, commas, you're going to be able to rest them regardless. Um, so if they're standing, you can rest them. If not, it's fine. So they still get that minus 5k as long as all your units are rested and everything. So. Your opponent is going to lose a lot of numbers. Alright, for second effect, put a grade 2 or less rear guard into your soul. This unit gets plus 5k for each of your opponent's rested units until the end of the turn. So, this is going to be very hefty in numbers. So not only are you taking away numbers, you're boosting up your rear guards as well as yourself, which is going to be a massive amount, depending on how big the field is. So you guys, this is a really good card. If you guys are playing main calling, this is this is gonna be hitting some numbers. Alright guys, so as you guys can see these two go pairingly well with each other. So unfortunately these are the only two cards they announced for this episode, so we're just gonna move on to the next um, the next two highlight cards I found. Alright, so the first one I found here was Death Ward and Antlion. So for Death Warden Antlion, he all these cards are going to be in the Destructive Roar boxes, so you should be able to find them, find it in the link description. But I'll still put the link for each of these cards down in the description below. So for this one, we have Death Warden Antlion. He is a Grade Three with the Imaginary Gift Protect. So for his effect, it's going it can be activated in Vanguard or Rearguard Circle. So when it attacks. Soul Blast 1 with a grade 3 and discard 2 cards. So at the end of the turn, this unit gets plus 10k and a crit, and your opponent cannot call Sentinels from your hand to G Circle. So, what is very crazy with this is the, is the cannot call Sentinel part. You're going to be hitting numbers, so this is regardless if it's on Vanguard or Rearguard, you're going to be hitting numbers. 
So it pairs up really well with Machining Spark since you're going to be getting buffs as well. And boy, oh boy, this is going to be hitting numbers. And your opponent, since they cannot call it Sentinels, your opponent's going to need a lot of guard for this hand for uh, for certain double crit. So this is just numbers and just power in this combo. So I'm just going to have to see where this goes. But man, be, this is just... This is just very crazy. Alright guys, so that is it for this card. So we're going on to the next one is Unite Attacker. So this unit is going to be a Spike Brother unit. So for Unite Attacker, we have here, he has a grade 3 unit with a force effect. So for his effect is Soul Blast 7, look at 5 cards from the top of your deck. Call up to 5 cards from among them to Rearguard Circle and put the rest at the bottom of your deck in any order. Three of your units in the front row get plus 5k until the end of the turn. So what's really good about this is it gives you the option to call up to 5 cards and not guaranteed 5. So if you pull the trigger and these 5 card draws, this 5 carded uh, draw, you will be able to return them and then you will be able to power up the units as well if you call them into the front row. And if you guys seen the Spike Brothers cards, most of their effects are on place. So this is just going to be a swarm effect going on at once. So I, I really, I can really see this being very, very good. So if you guys are playing Spike Brothers, I hope you guys are excited for this card. So to be honest, you guys really should be because the only downfall for this is it isn't an uh, effect for V uh VG and rear uh rear guard, excuse me. So that is that. But with the soul blast it's not gonna be a problem since most of your cards are gonna be going to soul anyways. So the uh, seven soul blast shouldn't be too much of an issue as well. So we're gonna see a lot of plays with this one, which is gonna be pretty exciting. Alright guys, so that is gonna be it for today's Perfect Vanguard um weekly bites. So I will put a link to each of these cards down in the description below as well as the boost box they're coming in. I will also put down my Twitter and if you guys are new here don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye guys, so I'll see you guys later. Uh, yeah, bye.